She's not exactly following in her dad's footsteps, but Sophie Flay is starting to make her mark on the entertainment world in a different way. And at this rate, she'll be known as more than just the offspring of a famous chef. Here's everything you need to know about Bobby Flay's daughter, Sophie. Father-daughter duo Bobby Flay's love life has been riding the waves of change ever since 1991. The chef has been married and divorced three times, but it was his second marriage to former Food Network host Kate Connolly that produced Flay's only child, Sophie, in 96. One moment you could be uh, giving advice about um, your daughter's boyfriend, and the next minute I could be reaching into my pocket for a new prom dress. Judging from Flay's Instagram, he and his daughter have a tight bond. A 2017 post from the chef on Sophie's 21st birthday reads, To the most amazing daughter of all time. She's an easy kid to parent. Sophie was kept out of the spotlight for much of her childhood, at least as much as is possible when your dad's an international celebrity. Really? In 2013, the Flays appeared on Rachel Ray in what was the then 17-year-old Sophie's first talk show appearance. When Ray asked Flay if he was a tough dad, he said, In some ways, I'm the pushover, and she kind of knows that. But I have to say, to her credit, she makes parenting a lot easier than it could be, because she's a great kid. Sophie chimed in, adding that her dad gives her a lot of freedom, but that he can be a little protective. I know that one of your main roles is to never get on a motorcycle, so mm -hmm. I, know I will never do that. A natural on camera. While Sophie might not have grown up in the public eye, it's clear she's inherited some natural on-air talent from her dad. Nachos? With Nacho. As a student at the University of Southern California, she had her own segment on the school's TV show, The Buzz, called The Sound with Sophie Flay. You're watching The Sound with Sophie Flay. The broadcast journalism major also completed several internships during a time in college, including one with NBC Sports during the 2016 Summer Olympics and the 2018 Winter Olympics. And according to her LinkedIn, Sophie has also interned for The Walt Disney Company, Dash Radio, and NBC News. She's also lent her voice talents to Spotify. If you've ever heard an ad on the app, it's likely you know Sophie's voice. Girls Got Skills For the time being, at least, Sophie seems to be determined to carve out a name for herself without relying on her famous dad. While she appears to be pursuing a career in media, that doesn't mean she's got zero skills in the kitchen. Cooking might not be her jam, but she's not above offering her dad a helping hand. I'm Sophie Flay. I'm here with my dad, Bobby Flay. Today, he's going to be making one of my favorite dishes, shock chip pancakes. According to the website for Flay's New York City-based restaurant, Gato, Sophie does not want to be a chef, but she does enjoy bringing her friends to her dad's many restaurants. While it would be fun to see Sophie follow her parents into the food entertainment biz, you gotta respect a girl who paves her own way. There's a good pancake. Is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tastes like home. <laughs> All right, next time you come up, you're cooking for me. The Sophie Salad Legacy If you're a fan of Bobby Flay, you might have noticed that one of his popular recipes is called Sophie's Chopped Salad. But that's not the only place you'll find her name. The celebrity chef has loved horse racing for most of his life, and as a teenager would regularly visit the racetrack with his grandfather. When he hit it big, it was natural then that Flay bought his own steed. Very busy here. Lots of people looking at horses. They don't want the fast ones. He now owns more than a dozen horses, including More Than Real, the winner of the 2010 Breeders' Cup, as well as Creator, the 2016 winner of the Belmont Stakes. The great thing about this place is that you get, you get, you're able to put on a suit or an awesome dress and uh, have some cocktails and maybe bid on a horse or two. But his first horse will always hold a special place in his heart. Purchased in the early 2000s, he named it after his daughter's most famous recipe, Sophie's Salad. Did right, you have a good time? Oh yeah, the best. She's all about dessert. Sophie's namesake may be a salad, but when it comes to her own personal tastes, she's all about the sweet stuff. On Rachel Ray, Flay joked that his job on Thanksgiving is not to carve the turkey, but to ask Sophie what dessert she wants and then make it for her. Sophie added that her favorite was the time her dad made a Boston cream pie. Last year you made the Boston cream pie, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that's our new tradition because I ate it for breakfast every day. Sophie loves dessert so much that at the 2018 South Beach Wine and Food Festival, she and her dad even hosted a late-night dessert event. Sounds like this girl is well on her way to finding success in whatever path she takes.